so usually I do this at night, okay? Um, but I'm not really doing much today, so I'll do it today. But before I show y'all what I do use, I want to show y'all what I stopped using because this is so popular. Everyone wants to use it. I have really sensitive skin. I don't know what's up with my skin. It's just very selective. This did nothing for my skin. Absolutely nothing. Don't believe the hype. Talk to your face doctor about it first before you spend money on this because this literally did nothing for my face whatsoever. All right, so obviously you want to put your hair up. That's why I got this little thingy on. So the face wash I use is Aveeno. Um, very soft. It has so Solidic acid acne treatment with soy extracts. Okay, whatever. Um, but very natural feeling. It doesn't feel like I'm clogging my pores or anything. So I wet my face, wash it with, rub it in, wash it with this, and then rinse it off. So that's what I'm about to do. So when I'm currently like washing my face, I like to take one of my razors and I get all the peach fuzz off of my face. I don't know if some of you girls do that out there, but I do. It makes my makeup go on like so smooth and it gets rid of any, you know, so I do shave my face and I use one of these, not a regular razor. So be careful with that. So after you rinse with warm water, you pat dry with either a washcloth or paper towels. I use paper towels because they're way more sanitary. And you pat, you don't rub crazy. <laughs> That's how you get wrinkles on your face. You pat dry so your face stays plump. Okay, so once your face is dry, the next thing I do is I mix my vitamin E with some moisturizer. So I'll literally take a vitamin E pill. I will cut a top open, put it on my face, put moisturizer on my hand, and rub it all in together. Vitamin E is amazing for your skin, especially if you take it right out the pill and put it directly on. It is very sticky. Very sticky. That's why you mix it with moisturizer and it clears your complexion, evens your tones out. So that's why I do it. I don't know if you can see it with this filter on, but I just put it in different places. Let it sit there while I put the moisturizer in my hands. Not too much. Even a little bit less. Rub that in and then rub it all in rub it in sis under your eyes everywhere like look how glossy my skin looks look at that <sighs> all right so once the vitamin e moisturizer is on then i take some scar cream i'll take a picture of all the products i use um after this but i'll take some scar cream you can see i just like take a little bit each time and i put it wherever acne spots have left little dark marks that's what i put my scar cream on and this scar cream actually works it takes a few days to get rid of them but it works if you're doing it every single day anywhere i see a little blemish or dark spot that's not an active pimple i put the scar cream on so the last step i do after the scar cream is attack any active pimples and i use the spot treatment i've always used it it kind of works kind of doesn't i don't know but it works if you do it like at least for two days it doesn't work overnight like it says like oh it takes eight no it takes a good one to two days but it does work so i'll use clean and clear act acne i'll put it on an active bump leave it you have to leave it on for at least eight hours sis don't put this on and then put makeup on it. No, this is for when you're doing a no makeup day and you put this on and then it'll work. So about the shaving your peach fuzz and stuff. No, you don't have to do it every day. Your hair, I mean, depending on how fast your hair grows, my hair doesn't grow that fast. So I do it maybe once every two weeks doesn't grow back thicker it's not like your eyebrow hair or you know it's not the same type of hair so um yeah i do it once every two weeks if that maybe once a month and it doesn't grow back crazy or anything and yeah 